Hey guys, what's up? It's Intuition Angel here, getting ready to read for the sign of Pisces right now, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind, these are just general readings. They may or may not resonate for all Pisces out there. Check your birth chart if this does not resonate for you. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button down there for me, please, and thank you if it does. You guys can also contact me for personal readings. Um, that's in the description box below. Um, energy is reversed. Time is fluid. All right. So I got these Yin Yang Oracle cards. I got them from Etsy. The person who made them, her name is Audrey. So go, guys, go look that up on Etsy if you guys like these cards. It's called the Yin Yang Oracle. So we're going to figure out what's going on with Pisces right now. I'm going to put the uh, link below to where I got these cards exactly. But she wanted me to shout her out. I'm going to leave a review underneath her um, Etsy video. Okay. But let's see what comes out for Pisces for this week in March. So I'm looking at the calendar right in front of my face, the cat calendar that I have. And the quote says, cats are a better cats are better than any vice. They are not fattening, dangerous, or expensive. However, they can be addictive. So that word addictive just came out. Alright, so we have apologies that just popped out of my hands. Someone wants forgiveness here. So the word addictive just spoke out to me in that quote there. Um, there could be someone that could be pretty tempting coming back. Maybe with an apology. Someone want, needs your forgiveness. Someone wants your forgiveness. I feel like you're the type of person right now, uh, Pisces, where you don't really even need the forgiveness. You just don't. You, you just move on without an apology. Okay? If this person isn't trying to get your forgiveness, they're trying to get their for forgiveness from, you know, the divine, right? Okay. What else is going on with Pisces for this week on March? Okay, so we have shadow side, moon, the dark night. So someone is dealing with their shadow side. I feel like they see something now for what it is. We have thoughts isolating. This person has to get away from things around them right now and isolate themselves so that they can think. They feel sorry for something. They feel sorry for themselves. What's going on with Pisces? Okay. So we have Autumn. Harvest. And then we have Facade. Beliefs. Okay, so... Yeah, I feel like someone has uh, invested in something that did not pan out to be what they thought it was going to be. Maybe, it, maybe they thought that it was going to bring some sort of stability and flow... But it didn't. They were waiting for something to come in. But whatever they're waiting for, it's gonna, it's not real is what I'm getting. What else is going on with Pisces? Receive. Open. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you are in this energy of, you know, getting what you deserve right now, Pisces. You're, you're getting what you invested in for sure. But I feel like someone over here has invested in a facade, an illusion. Something that brings out their shadow side. They they feel really sorry about that. Because they know what they've done here in Pisces. Hmm. These cards are pretty deep. So we have avoidance. Stalemate. Reflection. Projections. And then we have Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Ace of Earth. And I'm going to stop right there with those cards. So that we can get into the tarot. But I feel like this person likes to project themselves onto you. Like, whatever they, however they feel bad, whatever they feel bad for, they feel like they can blame you for or avoid um, looking at themselves in the mirror. They they don't want to look at themselves in the mirror here. Okay. With this uh, Queen of Pentacles energy, this could be you very stable, uh, but it's definitely Earth energy here. Very grounded energy. You could have Earth in your chart. I feel like you're going you're gonna to be receiving things that you want. I feel like you should avoid this person. Hold on, let me get some more because, you know, it's my first time using it. Why is avoidance here for Pisces? Self-care. Yeah, so we have self-care energy. Yeah, you're avoiding this person so that you can um, self-reflect too. Yeah, we have third eye clarity at the bottom. So I feel like you see things for what it is. Like your third eye is completely open. You're guarded from the situation. You feel very passionate about them, but at the same time, you know that, um, you know, you're, you're you're way more grounded than this person. Also, so I don't know if this apology will work, but we're gonna see with the tarot. 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure this apology may not work with you. Not this time is what I'm getting for some of you guys. What's going on with Pisces for this week in March? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What's going on with Pisces? Okay, so we have the Five of Wands here with the Strength card, Leo energy. We have the Chariot, Cancer energy, Knight of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, someone feels like they've lost you. You definitely moved on here. You're holding back from someone. I feel like this person is going to maybe put up a fight or maybe try to put up obstacles in the way. Some sort of outside influences so that you can like not get away from them. Because they have feelings for you or something like that. Yeah, I feel like you're ending this even though you feel like this is a soulmate situation for you. Even though you know this is your soulmate, Pisces, you're still ready to end this because you just feel like, you know, there's better things for you to do. You're moving on with a lot of strength too, Pisces. Alright, let's see. Why is the Five of Wands here for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Seven of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Four of Wands. This could be like a some sort of a fight about a house or stability for some of you. I'm also hearing like being defensive for your own stability. You really had to fight for your stability is what I'm getting here. I feel like you want to just be alone in your house right now, Pisces. You don't want to be bothered. You want to be, yeah. It's like you're all about truth right now. You're in your head right now. But, like, it's more like you're, you're enlightening yourself, right? Becoming more spiritually aware about things around you. Um, and being more passionate about this situation someone wants to maybe fight for this though I, I do see someone trying to fight for it it could be a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius they want to fight for this relationship but I feel like you just want to be alone because you're not talking to someone clarify strength please for Pisces I right, see so you have the page of swords the nine of pentacles and the ten of cups so I feel like here with this energy, like this person is spying on you. They're watching you be strong. They're watching you be very comfortable, safe, single, happy here with the Ten of Cups. Um, I also get this vibe of like maybe they found something out about you. But, you know, with the after tarot, it always gives me that vibe. But I'm also getting like, may, ha, did they not know that you were happy? Like... Did they not know that you were already strong here? Like we have the lovers here at the bottom. I feel like they want to manifest you back in because they feel like you're their soulmate. Yeah, but I, I feel like you've closed the situation out though. I feel like you're also a great manifester yourself. So, clarify chariot. I feel like you're moving on. Why is the chariot here for Pisces? Chariot for Pisces. You have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, the Hermit and the Strength card again. You're not speaking. And you are trying to go deep within. You're blocking this person. Setting up boundaries. It's like you're learning how to set up boundaries. You're learning how to be um, one with yourself. We have the Tower moment here. This person is shocked that you're doing this. Um, that you're taking a leap of faith to hold back. And they want to give to you because you're the empress. But they feel like they don't know enough yet. Yeah, they're trying to... Alright, so we have three cups here. There could have been a third party involved. Or this person just wants to reconcile with you. Alright, so why is the Knight of Cups here? Tell me about the Knight of Cups. For Pisces. So we have the star, the three of pentacles, and the magician. So this person has hopes that you guys can like come together and collaborate. I'm hearing them say things like, you know, I can do this, I can do that for you. It's like they're trying to give off this vibe that they have it all. And that they are, you know, worthy collaborating with here. They have the high priestess here. This person could be hiding secrets. 
but the high priestess is also your energy. I'm also seeing Gemini for you guys. Aquarius. But this person hides their feelings or maybe they try to plan. Maybe they try to plan, but at the same time they're they're still losing you. Alright, why is the King of Cups here? For Pisces, Sun Rising, Venus sign. Okay, so you have the Two of Swords, the Hangman, yeah, and the Five of Pentacles. This person doesn't know what to do. I feel like you're over this. You're very stable. You're trying to save your finances from this person here. Or you're just trying to save your energy because the Four of Pentacles represents just holding back energy too. We have the Page of Cups and Justice. They do want to make things right by sending you a message, maybe expressing their feelings, telling you the truth. I feel like they come off as someone that maybe has it all or they seem like they have it all. But I feel like they don't know what to do with the situation. It's delayed now. And because they hid their feelings or they don't do anything at all, it's leaving them out in the cold. I feel like they're just not doing anything at all. They just want to manifest you in by maybe acting like they have something because with the knight of cups i feel like they're coming off as like that wishy-washy shady offer but it's not really an offer because it's more like hopes all right all right so the knight of swords just popped out so this person's like kind of angry about that this person's kind of angry that i'm speaking about this but whatever let's clarify this five of pentacles please for pisces they yeah, the Queen of Swords. You cut this person out. You put this burden down. This person is very passionate. It's still like, like basically in your energy, all up in your energy. If not, they're spying on you, right? And um, they really want to make things balance with you or get your attention, fix things, do the right thing. I feel like. I feel like either you're older than this person or you're just more mature than this person, Pisces. And they just don't get it right now. They don't get what the heck is going on. And if they do get it, it's it's more like, yeah, I. they admire your strength and all that. Like, they really admire you, but it's like they just don't get it. They don't get how... They don't understand how you, either you got to that situation or... I don't know. I just can't describe it's like they admire your strength but they don't I don't I guess they can't get to your strength. I guess they can't be as strong as you. Five of cups, please, for Pisces. Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. Yeah, this person puts on this facade. Yeah, that's why that came out in the beginning. Yeah, this person comes off as someone very fiery. I'm really getting fire energy. Could be an Aries with maybe Libra in their chart. But I'm getting that they do want to express emotions to you. They could be waiting for you, though. I don't know. It's like it's coming off weird. This person comes off as someone like who's... Like, they could be, like, very attractive. And they just don't come off as somebody that was it are, is sad, but they are sad. You put down this burden here. They feel like they're burdened because maybe they're giving to others. Hold on, let me clarify this Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Pisces? Ace of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and Justice. Yeah, they want to yeah, they, they wanna tell you that they actually have feelings for you. To make things right. Yeah, they want to they wanna take a leap of faith towards you here. I don't know. They just come off as somebody to me that's like not exactly. They're not doing it right. How are they doing? They're doing it like the star, the three of pentacles, and the magician. They're coming off as someone that says, yeah, see, I got this, I got that. But it's like you're not paying attention to that. You're not paying attention, Pisces. In fact, they got to spy on you. They're paying more attention to you than you are of them. 
We have Goddess Sakshimi, Bright Future, Stop Worrying, Everything is going to be Fine. Okay. We have Goddess Onag, Easy Does It, There's No Need to Hurry or for Force Things to Happen. Everything is Occurring in Perfect Timing. Then we have Goddess Ayane, Leap of Faith, Take a Risk and Put Your Heart's True Desire into Action. So this person's going to come towards you. I feel like... I don't, I don't feel like like a, a bad vibe with this. I just feel like more of a, they're pushy and you're not pushy right now. They gotta, they, they really do want to take a leap of faith towards you here. I'm really getting that. For others of you, this might uh, resonate in like a, you know, spiritual sense. Be patient with things before you jump into them, Pisces. Um, and don't worry so much about the outcome of things too at the same time someone is worried about the outcome okay so we have sacrifice letting something go maybe taking that leap of faith is letting something go recognition and reward you're going to get some sort of reward after you do this pisces for however this resonates for you suffering in silence someone here is suffering in silence maybe watching you get recognition and reward here it's like they really want to work with you. Like They see that you're a great manifester. That's what it is. Yeah, we have base chakra here. Becoming very grounded. Stay grounded in your energy. I feel like this is this could be like triggering this person's insecurities too. That's what I'm getting. What else for Pisces? Yeah, destiny. Because you're going towards your destiny here. Oh, okay. Yeah, hope. So keep your hope. Keep your hope and faith up. Heart chakra, fertility. Your heart chakra is how you're going to manifest the best. Keep your heart chakra open. Okay. Yeah, awareness. Also your awareness. Let me get just a few more. And then we'll close this reading out. What else for Pisces? Someone rising and Venus signs. Yeah, so I feel like you're waiting for some sort of transformation in your life. Look, we have the waiting game and transformation here. I feel like for some of you, um, you're really anticipating for something to happen here. It's going to happen. Spirit is just trying to let it come in slow. Okay, so we have crown chakra, foundation, and achievements here. Yeah, you guys are waiting for maybe some sort of stability to come in. You're going to get that stability, all right? Okay, guys, so that was your reading. I hope it resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Namaste. Bye.